Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, in this video, I want to take a look at my Element Comp Crawler, or known as a Belly Dragger. Now, this was a top secret project. I started this back in October of 2020, when I had my little break from the channel there, I started this project. This was a project that nobody knew about. I did not want to tell anybody that I was doing this project. There's one other person that knew about this project and he was helping me along with this project, but uh, I'd really trust him and I told him not to tell anybody. If anybody asked, do not say anything because I wanted to build a rig that was going to dominate the field, that was going to pretty much be a very well capable vehicle and I think I exceeded that goal on making a awesome vehicle that's going to pretty much crawl over pretty much whatever I throw at it or try to anyway but so yeah now this started off as an indoor trail walker with a 1.55 wheels on it the, the vehicle got extensive heavy upgrade or overhaul if you want to say I changed up a lot of things the body the wheels and tires, the chassis, the electronics, and a few other things. So let's go ahead and get an in-depth look at it and show you, all right? So here it is, my friends, the Element Comp Rig, or my Spider Monkey. And this thing pretty much is <laughs> goes anywhere that I want to put it at. So let's talk a little bit about this vehicle here. So first off, I'm going to start with the outside and then work our way into the electronics and chassis and all that. All right, so let's talk about the body. The body shell is a J-Concept Creeper body shell. This is a 12.3-inch wheelbase body. And it's very cool, very unique and different. Now, I did... A a lot of uh, extensive chopping up on his vehicle, chopping away the fender wells, because one of the things I do not want on my vehicles is hearing tire rub, hear, hearing the tire rub against a Lexan body. It is one of the most terrified uh, sounds that you can hear on your RC, other than stripping out gears and stuff like that. But I don't like to hear the Lexan body scrubbing on my tires, so I cut it out a lot, cutting out the fender wells and stuff like that. Now. I have to go and have. I'm going to probably have to redo this body shell because it's been a lot of pain here. Uh, a lot of the paint is not really taking to the plastic there, as you can see, or to the Lexan. Uh, a lot of missing paint. That's why there's black tape right here because there's a big chunk of it just missing on both sides. I don't know if it's just the body shell itself or is the paint that I used. It's just not. You know, really keeping up too well for it but uh, yeah so I might have to redo that strip it down repaint it from the outside or just go ahead and get another body shell which I might possibly look at doing so on that but yeah so all right let's talk about the wheels and tires so I decided to go with a 1.9 method be like wheels and I absolutely love these wheels they're so great and easy to install one of the most easiest beadlock rims I have ever messed with there are six screws that holds it in it's a three piece and then you have this one ring here that has 24 of these little 1.5 millimeter screws which are really have no function it's more of a decorated item i guess uh they don't really do anything they don't attach the tire down or anything it's just a, a appearance look but i really like these and they come in a lot of different colors and stuff i do have another set that i will probably be putting on here but yeah all right so the tires are the 1.9 Super Swamper TSLs from ProLine Racing. These are the XLs, so the larger version. Also did the ProLine Dual Stage Foam in the tires, which helps out this vehicle a lot. Now, I've always been a, a fan of the Super Swamper TSL tires. They are just extremely awesome tire and great in any type of terrain from rock, sand, mud, dirt, water, everything else. They do really great, and I will always run Super Swampers on my crawler vehicles well some of them actually not all of them but these are my go-to crawling tires all right so let's go ahead and pull the body shell off and show you the chassis along with electronics and stuff so undo my strap here and we're gonna pull the body off we'll put that to the side and here it is my friends the main part of this vehicle the chassis this, my friends, is a Team G-Speed Element Comp chassis. This has a very low center gravity chassis. It is extremely awesome, my friends. It's carbon fiber, very, very well built. What I like about this chassis, other than it's amazing, <laughs> 
but it has a lot of different uh, adjustments for your shocks, uh, for your links, all that stuff is on there and it's so cool my friends you have unlimited ways of positioning your shocks your links and stuff like that and the cool thing about this kit because this does come in the kit everything from the stock adora element will fit right on here so you there's no have to buy special parts or anything it all fits right onto it so it's basically a bolt-on feature here and i really like that now this thing was a little challenging at first to put together because there was no instructions whatsoever on how to put it together i just had to go off of videos and and uh ask some questions about it and stuff like that but i finally got it on there so yeah all right so that is the chassis just give you a little overview look again that sweet carbon fiber on there. It comes with the skid plates, also your transmission plate. Now, one of the things I did order was a dual server mount for it, so that way, if I decide to want, uh, I want to run a server winch, I can do so. I'll just have to remove my ESC and all. But yeah, now let's talk about the electronics while we're looking at it. So I did a Hobbywing 1080 crawler ESC, which is a great ESC for being under 50 bucks. It has uh, 15 different programmable features. It's waterproof, running on 3S. It's a really great ESC, my friends. I very highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, they're just super great, and I have them in all of my vehicles. Talk about the servo that I'm running is one of those 35 kilogram servos that you can get off Amazon or eBay for roughly about 30 to 35 dollars. This one is a cordless one. It's an okay, you know, ESC, uh, not ESC, but servo. Uh, you know, could I put a better one there? Yes, I could have, but I was, I kind of had myself a little budget here, so I had to spend what I could. So yeah, all right. Now the motor is the stock motor, the Reedy 16 turn five slot motor, and I really like the Reedy motor. It does pretty awesome for me. I'm very happy with it. Now I'm still running the stealth transmission. Now I did overdrive the front at 15% which makes this thing turn so much better and uh, just does such a great job. So yeah, so that's what I did in that. Now the next thing I did on the vehicle was I added some Husky high clearance links and my friends, definitely a must on your crawler to have high clearance links. These things make the world of difference. I didn't think that it would make any difference, but these things definitely, do make a difference with having the high clearance links on there. It just does so much better. My flexibility, yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on how, actually how, uh, how much flex I get out of it. I'd probably maybe say, maybe about six, seven inches of flex there, which is pretty good. The shocks are the stock shocks from the trail walker. Like I said, everything pretty much came from the trail walker. That was my, that was, <laughs> there goes my phone. That was my, uh, my donor vehicle. And like I said, you can take everything from the Enduro element and put right onto this chassis here. And uh, my phone just goes off and off when I'm filming. How about that? That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, all right. Uh, don't know what else to say about this, but it is a great vehicle, my friends. I have been blown away with the performance of this machine. It really has outdone everything that I put it at, taken out to the uh, Ditch RC Park, which is my local RC Park that I go to crawl at. Did a great job. It crawled over places that not most vehicles could do. I took lines that not a lot of people could do, and it just, blown away of how well it did and i am super happy about it and the setup on it is just it's, it's just great my friends so yeah so that is my adora element comp rig belly dragger and uh yeah and I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah so yeah so there you go, my friends. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs like button. If you got any questions about this, uh, set up comment down below i'll be happy to answer as best as i possibly can for you 
Uh, so yeah. All right, my friends. So thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later.